Thanks so much for joining me today as we work on some Star Wars coasters. Having Cricut access is great. I was able to find these images and upload them. I created four squares as basically a guide to the size of my coasters so that I could edit the images how I liked. As you can see here, I'm just kind of placing the images that I had found. I was slicing uh, Yoda, but I didn't like it. So I went back and I picked some other stuff, but you get the idea. You can also create an offset, which is what I'm doing here now with the word Star Wars and change the colors. I did this to go ahead and add some, some contrast to, um, to my image. Then you're going to send your image to print and cut. I always like to adjust my images to make sure I have space. Send it to your printer and use your, your system dialog. As you can see, these are my preferences. You're going to have to choose those for your printer. I'm using an Ep Epson Echo Tank uh, 2850 with uh, Echo Solvent Ink. Let's choose your inject printable vinyl, which is um, specific settings that I've done. And I'll put them in below. And you send it to print on your Cricut. It's going to do a scan of the four corners. This is how it determines that it's um, going to give you a good cut. And if you have any questions on how to calibrate your Cricut, if it's not cutting the way you want it to, just go ahead and check out my other video. I've done a tutorial for you guys, taking you step by step. I'm setting up the coasters and I got these coasters at Michael's. They come with a nice little cork background. And they're for sublimation. So if you do uh, sublimation, this will work as well. I, again, use an echo solvent, so that's not necessarily the way I, I worked. I love how that peels, and that's that's part of using that printer. So I'm going to slice up our images now and just kind of separate each one individually so that we can iron them on. I had a little extra piece of some Star Wars background, and I thought it would look cool with the Death Star on the front. So I did that. I cut that out individually. This is all um, iron-on vinyl. If you have any questions about the printer I use, I have another video. Just go ahead and check out my my page. I only ended up using it for the Death Star. Everything else I left with the regular background, as you see. This was a super easy project. I have a Star Wars living room. So part of my Echo Tank uh, printer is that um, with HTV, normally the transfer tape comes with it. That's why you have to print everything uh, reverse and weed everything out. And the transfer tape is usually there. With this system, the transfer tape is separate. So this is a high tack transfer tape that I used and it's super simple. We just add our images. You see here, just rolling it out. Going ahead and cutting around my Yoda, just kind of fine tuning the image, and then we'll put it on the other side and our Death Star sticker. So I'll roll it, adhere it, and then cut it out, and then you'll see how we um, peel off the back. This is a great option to create some really vibrant pictures, stickers. HTV, you see how we're pulling back. And so now I'm literally weeding it onto my transfer tape. So the transfer tape is sticky and my image, my iron on image is on there. So no, no worries about doing it, re remembering to print it backwards or anything like that when you're using your Cricut, which is great. No layering issues makes it so easy. Okay. Now I'm just trying to size it there. Cleaning up, always want to use alcohol to clean up your surfaces and lint roller. And I love my mini press. If you guys haven't gotten one, you definitely need one. I'll attach a link below so you can see. They have different versions, but this is the Cricut one and it works wonders on small projects like this. It really has high heat. I do not compare it to a regular iron. If that's the only thing you have, then you go for it, right? But I've never been lucky with irons and um, they've never had that the source of heat except on the tip 
for me. This is like using the tip all the time of an iron. The pressure, everything that you can do, it's it's wonderful. So just adhering the sides. This was kind of tricky. I probably should have just cut it down. Um, so I don't recommend doing that at all. It was a little difficult, but, um, and I'm using a Teflon sheet and my iron on setting uh, setup is uh, the Teflon. It's, it's not wasteful. It's reusable. So you just use it and use it and use it. It doesn't go bad. It's a regular Teflon sheet. Again, I'll link it down below so you can find it on Amazon. And my little orange uh, square is just a rubber mat from a regular press. So um, it was an easy way to make my workstation portable. So I've loved it. I've had it for a long time and it, and it works, works great. I told you the sides were such a kicker. I'm just kind of making sure it adhered. It looked great when I finished. I was super happy with the project and super simple. Thanks so much for watching.